commercial motorcyclists, drivers, food vendors, and petty business owners in Ekpoma and environs lamented the economic hardship meted on them following the recent hike in price of petrol. A local food vendor, Mrs. Augustina Omoafe, said, Transportation fare, to and from market where they purchase foodstuffs, consume almost all their sales for the day. When we go market, we go buy something. After we buy, we won't go buy again. After we don't sell, we don't see the money completely buy. Now credit, we can't buy, join now. Because you go use transport for, say, for your market, you go use for your children, you go use for your, for any other thing where you they do. The money, no, they return back to you, mostly for markets. Commercial drivers, passengers, and students also decry the high cost of petrol and transportation. Now, as for the cost now, anybody, when you tell us, make the enter motor. I tell her how much you could take enter motor. You tell her, you better make it the track they go. So many, even say, we, with the pity, the people when they enter our motor. And with the drivers now, what we will go do? At least make we look for what we will just take feed up. I mean, I make us they come outside. Nothing they inside do. Nothing, because some filling station, some they said 850. 850, that is what I mean, 850. So, you see, they went per liter, you calculate them. How much you know the person go feed they buy for like that? In the S police station it's eight fifty. Well it's too essential to even see money to buy another thing after closing from work is another thing for us. They should help us to reduce the price of the fuel. So like before, um, the transport to school was um three hundred per person. But now it's four hundred per person. That is eight hundred for two people. Go and come. So it's affecting even inside school now it's not even one fifty for one uh, short two. So it was hundred naira before, so it's affecting us really. In Ekpoma, Chris Omidje, ITV News.